Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Sarah's driving up here right now. She should be here in about one hour. After that, we're hopping in the truck and we're heading to the tent. It's time for Deer Hunting 2018, the Minnesota Opener. Left the house, we have to stop eventually and get groceries, fill up with diesel, and we should be up to the tent by a little bit before noon. up here and then Sarah and I are going to go to the grocery store and get some food. Oh, all the grocery shopping is done. we filled up with diesel. Now we're heading straight north. Well, we made it up here. It's 31.8 in here. It's chilly. Like usual, first thing I'm going to do is get that stove going. So Sarah and I are up here now. Zachary should be up here by two. My dad and Wayne are already over at the folks' cabin. I know George said he was going to be up here, and I think with his son for sure. I don't know if Tom is coming up this year or not. So anyway, we bought uh, a lot of food, but for lunch here we just bought some pre-made chicken, mashed potatoes, and gravy. Sarah's grabbing, grabbing that right now. Um, we're going to eat, and then we're from here going to go out because she has some stuff to do to her stand. I have to bring a chair out to my ground blind in case that's the one I'm going to sit at in the morning. We'll get that all done and uh, get back here to the tent. I can smell it, but which one is it? <laughs> As far as the weather goes up here for right now, um, it looks like most of the days are just going to be in the mid 30s, pretty much 20s at night. Today is Friday, Saturday, tomorrow opener looks pretty sunny, light and variable winds. Sunday, 90% chance of 3 to 5 inches of snow. 
Sarah and I are up here until Tuesday morning, so that should be a pretty exciting day. Yeah, seasons eight and nine of Gunsmoke and that new movie that's just come out, Skyscraper, about that one too. I have not heard of that one. It's like where he, he used to walk down that, way down that trail yeah. to his stand. Well, this is in the same clearing, but that road curves around like this. Mm. And there's a fire escape route that goes here that actually eventually ends up back by his stand. Okay. So we went in here. There's also a escape route here. So where those two come together, we put his stand right here. This is swamp. And then... All right, we're gonna head out to Sarah's stand, run out to my ground blind, get that stuff done, and get back here. I got my chair set up in case I decide to come and sit at this one tomorrow. So that's what I'm looking for right there. There's a scrape. There's the ground blind. Now I don't know what the heck to do. I got one right here. And there's my far stand. So we have another one right there. And there's my far stand. So I think what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to sit in my far stand. It's supposed to be nice out, no snow or anything. Sunday we're supposed to get three to five inches of snow during the day. Then I might go sit in that ground blind because it'll be a lot more comfortable. All right, well now that Sarah and I kind of mapped out the exact place how we're going to drag my deer out tomorrow, <laughs> we're going to go over and check out hers. We just saw a grouse and he's going to see if he can get it. Well, the grouse saluted me. It flew before I could see it, but uh, plenty of more days. But well, you see that other pine tree fell down. That wasn't down before. Where? That one right in front of you, oh, was yeah, it? Well, Sarah's going to start getting things organized on her stand. I'm going to run over to that spot that Zach and I were at a couple weeks ago to see if there's a scrape there or not. And check that out, huh? Sarah! One right here! That's not bad. Hi, right, they've definitely been moving through here. Totally different than when Zach and I were up here a couple weeks ago. That one's a bit older, but there is a scrape there now. How does it fit? Um, basically perfectly. It does, huh? It goes all the way from this side to this side. Oh, that's nice. Are you going to take the, oh, is that uh, tree limb attached to that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thought maybe you were carrying a branch all with you. So Zachary should be here within the next 10 minutes. I'm sure he's going to want to go out and pull that trail camera by his and see if anything's on that SD card. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see ya. I'll be running over and check my stand and 
grab your SD card and see what I was saying. Yeah, I drove down there because I got your text right when I was coming in the driveway. So I'm like, yeah, they're down there. And I keep going. I'm like, well, unless they walk, they're not here. So I backed up the whole way. <laughs> oh, and you came in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah there was a... I'm not going to sit in my bar stand because we went back there. There's, Is that right? Then I'll sit in the ground blind. I even put my little buddy heater in there in my chair, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. if it's really... But it's, you know the nice thing? It's not supposed to be windy. Because remember last year, we had so much wind. I mean, it was 10 to 15 on Sunday. Tomorrow, it's just light and very So, was there, did you say there was scrapes that you saw on the way out there somewhere? Yeah, I was in the AM. Then, the hall got a cut and just went out now we're running out to Zachary's stand. Switch out the SD card and his camera. I suppose he has stuff he wants to drop off there too. I did earlier heard George when we were out at Sarah's stand. I heard George driving out to, uh, he said he was gonna go out this afternoon and check their stands. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely deer tracks. Hopefully we got a So Sarah said that she thinks if it's a big doe, she's gonna take a doe right away because she uh, she really wants some venison. What is all this? I don't know, it could be deer or it could be squirrels. I don't know what that is. is that Almost looks like oh. two deer were fighting or something. And the trail camera would have totally got it. Yeah. yeah. Did you just switch it out? Yeah. Let's go back and take a look. Anything over there? Here comes George. You can always hear him with that trailer on in the morning. <laughs> so I talked to George for about 10 minutes and his son Stephen is up here. He was in Alaska. I don't know for how many years he was, but now he just moved back here. So he's going to be hunting here. Tom is up, so he's going to be hunting. Uh, they did see a couple of does. I think it was, uh, I don't know, there was a couple of smaller bucks that they seen on the trail camera where they were just at on where uh, Tom is going to sit. And now they're going out to check the other two stands. Sarah and Zach are going back out to Zach's stand so he can put a string down so he can pull his gun up. And I'm going to go up here and turn around and head back to the tent. Well, there wasn't any pictures on that SD card at all. Uh, something, one of the settings on the camera must not be correct because it simply didn't take anything and it should have taken some when we set it, right now when we grabbed it, anything. So, Zach and Sarah are driving back right now. I just called them, but uh, anyway, he'll take a look at it tomorrow when he leaves the stand. It's starting to warm up up front here. But back here in the bedroom, it still stay. you know, it's cold. It does warm up back here eventually. But overnight, it stays pretty toasty out in the front part, and back here it'll usually be probably 10 degrees colder. So Melissa bought me one of these, it's like a mattress top. It goes on the mattress before you put your sheet on, but then it's heated, <laughs> and each side is heated separately. So anyway, I'll be nice and toasty no matter what. I think that's going to be really nice. There are some mornings I wake up and it's so chilly. Now I'm going to be toasty warm. We're cruising back and there's like the, the trail. And I'm like, is that a grouse? <laughs> <laughs> me and Sarah saw one earlier today, but it eluded me. Uh -huh. Nice job. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs>
After I think there's some in one of them, yeah, it should work. Well, I'm going to cook up that chuck roast and use some apple to smoke it, kind of. I'm pretty sure this is all done. Potatoes, they're done for sure, probably overdone. They had them on that fire part, and I had to take them off and just put them in here to keep them warm. That bag is still in the back of my truck. So if you want to bring that in, you can. Yeah, what color is it? So yeah, make sure everybody has a knife. I've got uh, a clean another gallon bag for the hurt. Clean, uh, yep, clean kit for everybody in here. I've got your hand warmers if you want them. Hand warmers. Okay, so remember we have jerky, we have trail mix. Okay, so you mean 30 out of 6? 30 out of 6. Is there a spare headlamp? Um, yeah. Okay, so did everybody get a cleaning kit? No. No. Okay. Cleaning kit there. I probably put my license in the bag. That's oh, a yeah. novel idea. Cleaning kit. Uh, who didn't get deer scent? Neither of you did. Well, this is that the wick kind of. Yeah, I know you can just do whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. 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 I picked mine the first time. Did you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, I don't know which one yours is in, so. Just to be on the safe side. Continue 
protect the credit leaders and convince them to stop the fighting. That is not possible. Okay, everyone. Well, it's a couple minutes after 10. Sarah's already sleeping away. We have to get up early in the morning for deer hunting. I will see you guys in the morning. Sarah, it's time to wake up. It's 5.30. Zach, you up? Okay, Zach. Well, good luck. Good luck to you. <laughs> Sarah's off walking to her stand. No snow on the ground, but light variable winds today. Not all that cold out. Hopefully we'll have some good luck. Alright, I'm all set up. Just wait for it to get light out. Well, it's about a quarter to 11. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, get some lunch started, come back out this afternoon. I don't know if I'll sit here or if I'll sit up in the ground blind. Over there, I did see a flash of brown earlier. Could not see what it was. I don't know if it came down that trail or if it came off from the left side. I'm not sure.
anything? No. no. How about you? I had seen one for a second, but you thought that there was them guys shooting? I thought it might have been Sarah or Grandpa because really? it sounded louder than the rest, but apparently huh. it wasn't. I don't know who. But it seemed like... Uh, <laughs> We're using venison hamburger for the tacos from the deer I shot last year. I grabbed a lot of meat with that shell. I like a lot of meat on my tacos. Like on my phone, it said it wasn't gonna like drop until more of the afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon, yeah. yeah. Yep. So we can't do a video on skinning and cutting a deer because uh, it would get flagged and I'll take the channel down. So used to be able to do that. Can't do it anymore. Watch this, like. I don't want to hunt any deer at the new house. I like to hunt up here. So if I wanted to hunt deer, I can hunt right behind the barn at the house too. And. Uh, I have done that in the past, but I'd rather hunt up here. I bet hunting in Missouri is awesome if you get down in the river valleys. I wonder if you could plant corn just to, yeah, I think you can, just to hunt over or not. Like radishes, you can do those. I feel like more than four hours out there. That's a long time. All right, so Zach and I are going to go out right now. Sarah's going to walk out a little bit later. Maybe we'll get something this afternoon. Let's see. Let's switch hats. That's Sarah's goal. She's like, they'll kill one of them. Well, everyone, it's a quarter after six. Uh, you can shoot until 625, but uh, unless they were standing right in front of me with no snow on the ground, I can't see the crosshairs in my scope. So I think we'll wrap it up, go back to the truck, and head back to the tent. So with the morning and the afternoon hunt, I sat a solid 10 hours today and only saw the one deer this morning for a second. But you can look at the bright side, that's 100% better than I did last year the first day. Anyway, I see that I get really crappy uh, cell phone coverage at that stand, and I see that there's a red triangle on the weather for here. So when I get back to the tent, I'll have to check it out and see. I think tomorrow's gonna be a day of weather change, so maybe those deer will be moving around in the morning. Looks like Zachary's just coming out. Did you see anything? No, I didn't see anything. No, I didn't either. I sat there and didn't see anything but squirrels. That was it. Yeah, it was really quiet though. Yeah, it was. And it then, was. Like, I don't know what time it was, but there's a few shots that went off. And that kind of got me excited, but nothing ever came out. Right, I don't know what that was. It was like five or six shots. It was coming from kind of over in your area, like in between us. Oh, I thought it was even beyond me, but it could have been in between. It's hard to say up here. It really is, so. Yeah. 
Well, I guess we'll get back to the tent and get some pork steak started. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> did you see anything? Nothing. I didn't either. Did? It was a nice night, but I didn't see anything, so. No. Yep. Let's head back to the tent. <sighs> must be my dad. He must have come over to think we were here. So why don't we, uh, I'll get the barbecue going. Why don't, um, let's get some shower waters going too. Alright. We'll get that taken care of. We got both of them containers, so. What are we doing? Uh, I'll start the barbecue if you guys want to get some shower waters going. Yeah. We should probably do up the dishes from lunchtime too so they don't yeah. get over our head. Probably can do that too. I'll fold these all the way. All the way? No, maybe an inch from the top. <laughs> Sarah's going to take the first shower. Yeah. <laughs> the five or six or ten year old markers aren't working anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's see. I got a green one, that's all it comes. <laughs> Just about done. I wanted to show you guys this on Zachary's trail camera, which is right by his stand. Uh, the camera last night, this was actually taken at 7.02 last night, and there was a buck right there. You can see it. It looks like a, like a small racked, maybe a five or six pointer. Anyway, there was a buck there. It looks like it has a nice body on it too, so hopefully he'll see that tomorrow. What's up, Mommy Davis? I'm asking you to go easy on him. Everybody in town's gonna follow your lead. Sarah is about to eat her annual whole can of plums. <laughs> Uh, 
was. Was it like a remodel or what? Or a terrible Good night, everybody. I'll see you in the morning. Sarah, it's 4.30. It's time to wake up. p.m. this afternoon to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time Monday. Today, breezy. A slight chance of light snow in the morning, then rain, possibly mixed with snow in the afternoon. Patchy fog in the afternoon. Snow accumulation up to 2 inches. Highs near 40. East wind 5 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 25 miles per hour increasing to 15 to 25 miles per hour with gusts to around 35 miles per hour in the afternoon. Tonight, breezy. Areas of fog in the evening. Snow, possibly mixed with rain. Snow may be heavy at times in the evening. Snow accumulation of 2 to 4 inches. Lows in the lower to mid- Oh, looks like by tonight, some kind of storm is brewing. Getting hot sauce, huh? Four fifty-nine yeah. in the morning. After a whole thing of plums last night, she's having a taco <laughs> for breakfast. <laughs> 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 and heading to our stand in 20 minutes. Good luck. Good luck. Shoot one this morning. I hope so. <laughs> Stormy weather coming, the deer will be moving around. I'm gonna sit in that ground blind again this morning. I think it's uh, better for what the way the wind is right now than it would be if I was in my far stand.
while that wind is starting to pick up. I think I'm going to sit out here maybe another half hour. Zachary, he heads home today and a thing popped up on my phone saying that the snow will start here possibly by 1.15. And there could be freezing rain with that, so Zach wants to get out of here before any of that starts. Just jumped a grouse. Well, we had the time change last night. I haven't switched the truck back, so pretty much sat the same amount of time. It's 10.05 right now today, though. Hey, you guys didn't see nothing because I didn't hear no shooting? No. no. Oh, I didn't. I just talked to that one guy, that other guy that hunts, whatever, with his group, and they shot two of them yesterday. They only have one more tag to fill. Pine cones down, everything. Yeah. We know a storm is coming. My phone said that the snow is going to be here by 1.15. Well, this is sad. Four o'clock, so we'll have to. I couldn't, I can't access the weather in my state. I burned my phone down to 46% this morning. Just trying to get service, you know. Wow. Well, Zachary's headed home. Too bad you didn't get a Hi. deer. <laughs> Maybe next time. Yeah. <laughs> Can I see you? Yeah. All right. Bye. 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 Up some sloppy joes for lunch today. Time to head back up to the stand. started to lightly snow, almost like a misting snow right now, but it's blowing so hard you can hardly see it. 
and it's still saying now it's saying five inches so we'll see who knows Okay everyone, well shooting time is about done. I think I'll zip everything up and let's head back to the tent. Right before I left the uh, ground blind I saw something running on this trail. I think it was a wolf. It sure didn't look like a deer, but let's check out and see what the tracks look like. Oh, it was definitely a wolf. I couldn't see where it went. I thought it went up the trail or went to the right, but instead it kind of went in front of the uh, ground blind, but below the hill. It was really running. Did you find a different way to get out today? I couldn't figure out how to get out there. <laughs> Everything looks different with the snow, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you see, did you see anything? No, I didn't see anything. Did you see anything? No, I, I saw a timber wolf right at the end. Oh. Well, that was it, so. Ever since we did that live stream and somebody brought up 10,000 BC. <laughs> and you've been wanting to watch it? Well, yeah, I might as well put it in. I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, so. do it. I don't know if I've ever seen that movie. And we watched a lot of gun smoke the last couple of days. Yeah, we have. Well, tonight for dinner, it's pretty rotten outside, so we're going to cook inside. I bought some beef stew meat. And we're going to put that in a fry pan, cut up some potatoes, some onions, throw in some mushrooms, and just kind of have a whatever you want to call it. It'll be good.
perfectly fried potatoes. Well, the mushrooms are about done. And these are artichoke hearts. I bought them. <laughs> just, I never had them before, canned. And Melissa said they're gross, so we never ate them. So Sarah and I just decided, well, we don't know how to cook them. We'll just put them in a pan and see how they are. It's time for dinner. This looks super good. We're pretty much just chilling out tonight. Uh, I'm doing the journal. I uploaded a video watching 10,000 BC, kind of. I've seen it many times. So after two days in the stand doing nothing, you feel exhausted. <laughs> you really do. Okay everyone, well it's 12 minutes after 10, we're going to shut things down and go to bed. I'll be up at 4 o'clock in the morning and be getting Sarah up at 4.30. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Sarah, it's 4.30, it's time to wake up. Sarah, it's a quarter to five. Time to wake up. Misty this morning a little bit, but it's uh, 33 degrees, so it's not like it's cold. Looks like it's almost a little bit foggy. My dad just texted me and he said where he parks his truck to go into his deer stand. There's wolf tracks all over the place. day three in the deer stand. I'm getting so antsy. I wish Sarah or my dad would shoot one so I could go and do something. Well, I think pretty soon I'm going to head back to the tent with all this rain that's coming down. I don't think the deer are really going to want to be walking around in this. I do want to walk back by my 
far stand to see if there's any tracks on that one trail. It's not all that far back there. I don't think you're going to be able to see anything anyway. Now that it's raining, the snow is pretty much gone. Doesn't look like anything fresh back here either. texted me and said he doesn't even think he's going to go out for the afternoon hunt today. He's going to stay back and uh, split wood instead. Plenty of more days in the season. For lunch today we plan on making some chili. So we'll get back there and it won't be long. We'll start cooking that up. Well, it looks like Sarah must have uh, come out and headed back to the tent. I bet it won't look like this two weekends from now. Did you see anything? Nothing. That was dead dead this morning. It was super dead. My dad said he's not even going out tonight, really? so he's going to wait. Yeah. It was supposed to rain, like for the rest of the night. Sarah's going to start cooking up the chili. Sarah made the chili. My dad brought over some apple turnovers, so we're all set. Oh, my dad is splitting up some of that birch that I cut a couple weeks ago. And uh, probably 45 minutes or so, I'm going to go out to the stand. I might go to Zachary's stand and sit. It all depends. It'll rain a little bit, then it'll stop. So if it isn't raining, I'll go out to his because his doesn't have a roof over the top of it. So having a hard time making up my mind. Good luck. We'll see you tonight. Yep. Still misting rain, but uh, at least it's not rain raining, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Sitting in a stand that doesn't have a roof over it. Well, shooting time just ended. I saw nothing. I didn't hear one single shot this afternoon.
you see anything? Nothing. I didn't either. I didn't hear a shot. Nothing. I felt like I was being super silent and super looky for <laughs> yeah. and like no. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I got that whole entire pile split. Yeah. It might all fit, I don't know. But if not, I'll just put it in the other Yeah, we can always throw it in a Ziploc too. So I'm thinking for supper, let's just do leftovers tonight. Because yeah. we have everything from pork steak to tacos to chili to the stuff from last night. Yeah, this thing is like full now. So. Yeah, so let's just do that. And, okay. then, uh, and maybe we'll spend a uh, half hour cleaning stuff up today so tomorrow after the hunt we won't have as much to do. Okay. And then, uh, We'll probably get deer tomorrow because we want to go home and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, I'm fine with that. Sarah's going to take the long walk over to my dad's. He texted me and said he made, uh, I made fresh bread. If you want some, send Sarah over. <laughs> so she's going to head over there and get some homemade bread. We have some fresh, I don't know if that's biscuits or what it is, but it smells good. Still have a couple of apple turnovers. Sarah's going to do up the dishes. that heats up and melts. <laughs> but for now it works. Okay, everyone. Well, it's about 10 minutes after 10. I'm just about to go to bed. I think Sarah will follow pretty quickly. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Sarah, it's 4.30. It's time to wake up.
Sarah, it's ten to five. Are we ready? Yep. Let's head to the stand. Looks like we got a little bit of light snow falling right now. One more morning to sit out there, and we'll head back home. I'll be up here next weekend. If I don't get one today, or even if I do get one today, if my dad's up here, I'll still be up here next weekend. Well, that's as late as I can sit this morning. I'll grab my stuff here and throw it in the truck. Head back to the tent, get the rest of the stuff all packed up and cleaned up that didn't get done last night. And then Sarah and I will head south. Next weekend when I come up here, it's supposed to be much, much colder. And that's usually when we have the best luck up here deer hunting. Anything? I didn't see anything. No, my dad didn't either. He said he's yeah, he's probably gonna come in early too. So yeah, just dead. I heard two shots way down there on the other side of the river. But that I was heard it. One that was pretty close, kind of this way. Did you? Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe that's across the road in that clearing. Huh. Yeah. Wanted to get a better look at this. That's a pretty nice pile, actually. Probably a whole year's worth of burning right there. Well, the wood box is nice and filled up for next time when I come up. Joe, is there any tracks? Oh, you can't tell there's no there's snow. There's tracks all over them. And, uh, but, but I don't know how old they are. Right. You the just got to be here on the right day, just like last year. That was finally there that one day, and the deer were all there. And, and then I walked, 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 walked out to the range stand. You know, I didn't put the new cover on. Yep. And uh, there's about three scrapes huh. there. 
But I didn't. I didn't go in the woods very much there because I don't want to disturb it. Yet. Right, right. I think they like to sleep back there. <laughs> Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. We're heading south for now, but uh, deer hunting isn't over. It's just begun. I'll be back up here in a few days and be back out in the deer stand. I'll see you guys on the next video.